so this is my office. It's uh, almost 9 p.m. I should be home, but here I am still doing some videos and things at the office. So I just wanted to show you how this amazing computer, the MSI Wind Netbook U100, is can speak three operating systems at the same time. So here's Ubuntu, which I use on all computers and we use that phone because it's open source, because it's fast and it's amazing just for surfing and because it helps you save money on hardware and of course on software because it's free and thanks Mark Shadowworth and people who have made Ubuntu happen because it's phenomenal. Um, now this is my favorite computer, it's the iMac 24 inches which I use for work and I love Mac because I think it's just beautiful, a beautiful system, so well designed, so easy to use. And my least favorite system is Windows, but sometimes I have to use Windows because um, I need to try things that are used by the masses, and the masses use Windows. Uh, also, Windows is, for example, Blackberries come uh, with more compatibility with Windows and so on. But what's amazing about the MSI Wind Netbook, by the way, wind does not stand for the wind which blows when you're sailing, but it stands for Wi Fi Network Device. Okay? Now, what I'm going to show you is how this Wi Fi Network Device quickly goes from being a Mac, which is now with all the features of a Mac, uh, right? You recognize them, you Mac users how it quickly becomes a Windows computer and an Ubuntu computer. So I'm going to shut it down uh, and I'm going to turn this into a Windows computer. Um, while it does that, I'm going to show you that I have here a couple of Foneras and then of course these netbook computers are particularly good to use with Wi-Fi. So I'm going to turn the computer on and as I turn it on it will give me choices. Do you want to be uh, do you want me to be Windows? Do you want me to be Mac or do you want me to be Ubuntu? Here it is. Do you want to be Ubuntu, Windows or Mac? And I'm going to say Windows. You just saw this wind netbook being a Mac. Well, now, and these ones are available, by the way, for $350, or $400, something like that. It's uh, 160 gigabytes, one gigabyte of RAM, an Atom chip, 1.6 gigahertz. And, well, now I have to talk more because Windows is the slowest of the three systems. But here it is. It took actually not that long. And now it's going to make that awful familiar sound that Windows makes, that it's only comparable in its uh, boredom as the Nokia tune, right, which I also abhor. Anyway, uh, so now we have a Windows computer. And what I did is I partitioned this uh, hard drive, I partitioned it into uh, 60, no, 160 gigabytes of which 80 gigabytes are Mac, 40 gigabytes are for Windows, and 40 for Ubuntu. So now you have, like I said, a normal Windows computer, and we are now going to turn this off, and we're going to make it an Ubuntu computer. So you have a trilingual computer, a computer that has three operating systems for, for under $450. Uh, okay, now it's off and we're going to ask this beauty to become Ubuntu. Uh, so the same process, the BIOS is running and now I say I would like Ubuntu Linux and now it's put in as an Ubuntu computer. It's very fast 
Ubuntu compared to Windows as you saw um, so now it's choosing all these parameters it's um, I, I haven't used it yet as an, as an Ubuntu computer so it's uh, probably taking a little longer than usual uh, but there it goes it's becoming an Ubuntu computer and indeed it is now an Ubuntu computer okay so the great thing about Ubuntu is that it has um, all this supermarket of available software that is there for you for free and actually um, it is made by a lot of people who don't get paid for doing this and this is one of the wonderful things about open source uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Ubuntu what you do in Ubuntu uh, is you uh, you go to the applications here and you can download uh, hold on a second that I'm putting the password which is fun 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 uh, I have to do my little commercials here and uh, this is like a supermarket of software I can add and remove any software I want uh, very easily now it's checking what applications I have and it's going to offer me hundreds if not thousands of free software and I never have to tell Ubuntu who I am I never have to tell Linux who I am I never have to register and I never have to do all those pain in the ass things that you have to do in the Microsoft world so this is it the MSI Win Netbook that can be a Mac, an Ubuntu computer, or a Windows.